Hi, this is EuroUSD and today it's Tuesday 23rd of December 2014 and the time is 14.35 GMT. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video signal for Forex ID Academy members, FX colleagues, Forex Signals apps users and WhatsApp Signals subscribers. I'm using Ichimoku Kinko Hio, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. The picture of the pair uh, can be more bearish than it is. We see the leading Kumo, the edge of the leading Kumo being sharp pointing downwards. You can cut your finger on it that shows uh, increasing bearish momentum. But we know that uh, the lower Bollinger Band is never a good place to, to, to sell from. Um, and that stands true for daily H4 H1 M30 which means that we should wait patiently for a, a correction, a proper correction on at least uh, a time frame which is uh, at, uh, which is M15 or higher. Uh, if you are patient, wait on H4. If you are not, uh, wait on H1 or M30, uh, which is the type of correction I, I consider uh, valid um, when the price approaches medium Bollinger Band as much as possible. But even if we have such huge distance and the price makes it above Tenkan Sen, the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hio, and then reverses and falls and crosses again below Tenkan Sen, jump in. So, you are looking to enter short, taking advantage of this huge bearish momentum, but uh, the ideal place to enter short is not the lower Bollinger Band. It's the medium Bollinger Band or even, even better, the upper Bollinger Band. Because the price may not have the power, the strength to reach as high as the upper Bollinger Band, looking uh, for the price to approach the medium Bollinger Band uh, should be your, your goal. And uh, once it interacts with medium Bollinger Band and you see a swing high and then reversing, a uh, swing high and then a bearish candlestick below medium Bollinger Band is a bearish continuation pattern, jumping short. Uh, if that happens on M30, for instance, um, or if you if you have a, a bullish price tank and send cross and then a bearish price tank and send cross, or the price reaches the medium Bollinger Band and then reverses, enter short, place your stop loss above the body of the Kumo and trail it slowly while staying in the trade as the price remains below 10 Sen. That is the rule of trading from M30. Um, I repeat, wait for the price to make at least the bullish price 10 Sen cross. Uh, if it w goes higher and reaches the medium Bolger bad, even better. Uh, if it interacts and returns from there and starts falling, uh, great. Wait for the bearish price and can send cross to jump in short and place your stop loss above the body of the Kumo. Stay in while the price is moving below Tenkan Sen. You can use the same rule for H1 if you are more patient and uh, let the price lead you. If uh, the price continues its fall, I told you the rules already. If the price reverses, uh, which is uh, unlikely because I see that the distance on the H1, the distance from the price action to the leading Kumo, to the edge of the leading Kumo is tremendous, so uh, this is not something that will happen for now unless uh, something uh, unusual happens. So this is it. Thanks for watching and happy pips.